Endometriosis is a systemic condition that includes implantation of tissue that is similar to the lining of the uterus in places outside of the uterus. Endometriosis is very common in women who have infertility, and it's also very common in patients who have chronic pelvic pain, affecting roughly up to 80% of those patient populations, or 60% for patients with infertility. And across the entire uh, US population, it's approximated at anywhere from 8 to 10%. Endometriosis can present in many different ways. It's sometimes called the grand masquerader, where it comes in presenting with pelvic pain, presenting with painful periods, sometimes infertility, sometimes painful urination, painful bowel movements, or painful sexual function. So endometriosis can affect reproductive age women and persons and that includes anywhere from the start of uh, me menstrual periods, which is menarche, all the way up to menopause. So that's a large range, and it's, it's an area where um, patients present with many different ways. So there's several risk factors, and that includes family history, which is a strong risk factor. Other risk factors include early start of the menstrual period, which is menarche, other things include also obstructive anomalies, congenital anomalies, which are just inborn errors sometimes that include areas that obstruct um, the uterus and the uterine flow, and they can be associated with a higher risk of endometriosis. These are just some fac uh, common factors, but there's other associated medical conditions with endometriosis as well. So it is possible to get pregnant after um, being diagnosed with endometriosis. Many times endometriosis can present in various ways, in ways sometimes where patients can get pregnant, but also in ways where patients sometimes have to go through infertility or assisted reproductive techniques in order to achieve their reproductive goals. Endometriosis sometimes, if left untreated, can be a progressive condition where it can lead to mechanical um, obstruction of the various uh, areas in the reproductive tract, and that includes causing chronic pain at times as well as causing infertility. So it can lead to all these different things, and sometimes there is a, a slight association of an increased risk for certain types of gynecologic cancers. Some of the treatment options for endometriosis include surgical excision uh, therapy, which includes minimally invasive techniques with laparoscopy or robotic surgery. They can also include sometimes use of medications along with surgical excision methods. Here at Mount Sinai, we offer specialty surgical services where we collaborate together to provide excellence in endometriosis surgery inside the operating room as well as outside the surgical setting.